In today's video, I wanted to compare the frame rate or FPS between Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 Sim Update 3 with the Sim Update 4 beta. And we're going to see if there's any improvements. So what I'm going to be using to monitor the frame rate FPS count is the MSI Afterburner since I have the NVIDIA uh, GeForce. Uh, in this computer, it's going to be the 4070. Uh, so right now I'm in the general settings of the flight simulator. And I just want to keep this very basic because a lot of people start off with very basic. So this gives us a good starting point. So my tests are only going to involve the 1920 by 1080 um, with anti-aliasing at TAA. And basically everything else is um, set basic. The only thing else I have is uh, VSync is actually going to be checked on, but there is no DLSS frame generation going on or anything else with uh, NVIDIA. So we'll go ahead and save that. So save them back. We're going to jump in the plane and just go up for a little bit. We'll fly it a little bit. Um, Let's just set the altitude a little bit just so I can concentrate. If I have to set it in autopilot, I don't have to worry about crashing. So we'll just go ahead and set this to 74. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and rev up my engines. I'm going to turn on, I'm going to use my hotkey to start the record, and this will send it into my baseline into a, a text file, and then we can go back and compare the results later. So right now we're averaging between 45 and 50 FPS. Some jumps to 53, 54. I'm actually going to turn off the the hints or the, the labels, I should say. And right now we're seeing about 55 to 57. And I'm just going to bank to my right so we can catch the the flight plan so we can get autopilot to, to um, see. But if you look to my left, you'll see the uh, the frame rate. So now we're about 61, 62. So we've actually increased. Sixty four right now. Go ahead and turn on the autopilot. I'll hit nav. And we'll just let that record for a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to jump out of the plane to see if that changes. Now we're hitting 70 FPS. We'll go ahead and ah, see it kind of dropped down. Back to 65, 66, 67. I'll bring up the flaps. And we'll just fly around a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the test. And then I will be back with us doing us in a flight simulator. 
2024's uh, Sim Update 4 beta, and we can compare the results there. All right, folks, so now we're back in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 Sim Update 4 beta, and we're back under the graphics. And I wanted just to show you that in this test, we have everything configured the same as last. So we got the full screen resolution, which we're doing at 1920 by 1080. The anti-aliasing is TAA. And the only thing, so nothing has changed. Um, and we have VSync. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn that back on because that's what it was last time. So we'll leave that I accidentally clicked on that right now. So we we re-enabled it. All right, so we'll go ahead and save this. I just wanted to show you that I'm not doing anything different from, you know, as far as configuration from Sim Update 3. We'll go ahead and hit save and back. And this is the same air airport and we're gonna basically run the same uh, flight. Let me just make sure my so we, we go ahead and set our altitude. Let me just get that out of the way so I can. And we were about 2,500, right? So this is pretty much roughly same as before, right? We set the altitude and we did uh, the flight level change speed to 74 knots. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to rev up my engine. Okay. Now I'm going to hit record and, and start the plane. So it is recording. And this will send the data into my benchmark file and then I'll bring the two files together so we can look at them at the end. Bear with me as I get this bird up in the air. And we're going to turn off those things, the labels. And right now we're at 62.65, so I'm seeing some improvement already. So we're just gonna go ahead and bank. Okay, it's hit about 70, 71, 72. And I'm gonna turn the autopilot on. And we'll just let it, the autopilot climb and kind of sort th things out, relax. Ooh, there was a spike to 75, 76, 77. So we are definitely seeing an improvement in FPS, frame rate FPS. So we'll just fly this a little bit down the strip. Let's see if we hit 80. Ooh, there we go, 81. It was that holding on to 79 to 81. Very good, Osobo Microsoft. So that that's promising. That's what they said that this update was gonna be bringing. Basically, no really new features. They were focusing on the performance and the stability. So we'll just let this out a little bit longer. Eighty-four, eighty-five. So you can see by the live graph that it is actually much better because before I was just getting like maybe in the low 70s, high 60s to low 70s. So we'll go ahead and end it here. And I'll be right back with the final comparison between the two. Okay, everyone, we're back. And 
I'm here to show you the results um, from the MS from my uh, MSI Afterburner uh, FPS uh, capture. So the first test that we did is using Sim Update Three, which is the current production, and then we changed over to Sim Update uh, Four Beta. So it's going to be the first two. I'll explain here in a minute what I did with the third. Um, but as you can see, with Sim Update Three, the average frame rate was 60.2 FPS, and then if you look at compare that with the average frame rate to Sim Update 4 Beta, it's 72.1, so we did see an increase there. Uh, something of concern, when I looked at the minimum frame rate for Sim Update 3, it was showing 44.9 FPS, and then with Sim Update 4 Beta, it actually dropped down to 42.8 FPS, so I'm not sure exactly what happened, but we're gonna extend on that in a minute. And then we go back to some update three for the maximum frame rate, and you're seeing 70.7 FPS. And then for the maximum frame rate in sim update four beta, it jumped up to 85.86, which is really nice. And then you compare the other two, the 1% low frame rate of sim update three, and you're seeing 40.1 FPS. And then down in Sim Update 4 beta, you have 1% low frame rate, 43.4 FPS. So, you know, that's expected there. And then the last stat back up in Sim Update 3 is the 0.1% of low frame rate. That's 18.4 FPS. And then comparing that with the Sim Update 4 beta, 0.1% low frame rate, that's uh, down to 12. Point one FPS. So because I thought this was odd, I would have thought that this would have stayed, actually would have increased compared to what we had up here with the Sim Update 3, right, as they're improving things. So I want to be transparent about everything because people say, oh, performance is great. But when you actually look at the numbers, you see slight differences. But overall, you do see an increase, right? But I just wanted to call that out to you. So I said, hmm, let me try another test. So I retested this back in Sim Update 4 um, when you guys weren't watching me record. And I actually got some interesting results. So if we were to compare um, with the first test I did with Sim Update 4 beta, we see an average frame rate of 72.1. And we compare that to my retest, the average frame rate dropped down to 70.3 FPS. So we actually saw a decrease. And then looking at the minimum frame rate here, this is this is interesting. 42.8 for that first test in Sim Update 4 beta. But then when I did the retest, my minimum frame rate increased to 48.8 FPS. So makes me wonder what was going on with the sim, right? So maximum frame rate in the first Sim Update 4 beta test, we saw 85.6 FPS. And then the maximum frame rate in the retest of Sim Update 4 dropped just a little bit down to 84.0 FPS. And then we'll compare the other two. The 1% low frame rate, 43.4. Compare that to the retest is 7, 44, or excuse me, 45.3 FPS. And then the last category was 0.1 low frame rate, and that's 12.1. And then the 0.1% low frame rate was 24.3 in the retest of Sim Update 4. Now, just out of curiosity, let's go and look at, compare the retest with the, the, the original Sim Update 3 that's in current. So we had 60 for the average, it, it was 70.3. So we still saw the increase that, there, you know, Asobo and Microsoft are talking about. And then minimum frame rate is 44.9. And here it's 48.8. So that looks good. And then the minimum frame rate here is 70.7 FPS. 
compared to my retest, which is 84.0. So overall, I mean, you're looking at the next two categories, the 1% low frame rate, which was 40.1, that increased to 45.3, and then the point 1% low frame rate for the Sim Update 3, 18.4 frames per second. And then you have in the retest, 0.1% low frame rate, 24.3. So overall, we do see an increase. Now, a little concerning to me though is why this minimum frame rate between the two varied, right? But I believe that's expected. I'm going to do some more research to see why that was, but I want it to be transparent with the numbers, not to say, oh, there wasn't anything, everything was good, but in this case, it wasn't. So I'm going to be doing some more tests then, and if I find out what, why the minimum frame rate changes, you know, I'll let you know. And if you also folks want to leave your comments to this video of why you might think that minimum frame rate may have been different, um, I, would have, I, I would greatly welcome your comments. Okay, so I thought you guys might get a kick out of that and be interested. And as we break down this uh, comparison between what's in production and what is being uh, tested right now in beta. Until the next video, I'll catch you later. See ya.